The vice chair of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus warned this week that Democrats need to stop taking the Hispanic vote for granted. Republicans, of course, hope they continue to. From our partners at The Hill, Representative Nanette diaz Berrigan, Democrat of California, on Wednesday said Hispanic lawmakers are struggling to reach voters in their own communities unless it's right before an election, calling it one of the biggest problems that we have. The polling shows Berrigan is on to something. Recent, recent Quinnipiac poll showed just 26% of Hispanic voters approved of President Biden's job performance, the lowest of any demographic group. That compares to 2016, when Hillary Clinton overwhelmingly won the Hispanic vote by close to 50%. Republicans continue to court immigrants, and specifically Hispanics. A new RNC program helps immigrants prepare for the citizen naturalization test in battleground states across the country. Brian Enton is in Florida, the swing state of swing states. Why do Republicans feel they have this inroad with immigrants, specifically Hispanics, right now? Well, it's very interesting, Leland. This is called, you mentioned it, the Republican Civics Initiative. Um, and it's popping up all over the place, including Florida, where we are. We're in Doral, Florida, which is right outside Miami. Huge Hispanic population. We're in this strip mall. This is actually an old dry cleaner behind me that they've converted. And they have these classes at night where uh, Hispanics come. Uh, you don't have to be Republican. Uh, and they will teach you um, about you know, Amer the Constitution, American history, so you're ready for this, uh, for this civics test. These are people who have had their green card for at least five years and are now ready to take the test. Many of them do identify as Republicans. Uh, we came to the class last night. This room behind me was totally full. Uh, listen to what a couple of the participants told me. Do you identify as a Republican? Of course. Of course, you know, I come in from a communist country, so I really know what is living under communists. And I want to vote because I want to fight, fight against communists in this country. That's why I love this country. One of the things that I um, actually am here for is not only for, uh, you know, uh, study for the U.S. citizen exam, it's all talk because I would like to know the history of this great uh, nation. It was interesting, Leland, what that woman uh, you heard say there. That was really the, the opinion of most of the people we talked to at the class last night. Many of them are from Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua, places uh, with communism and socialism uh, in the past. And they are very, very concerned, and they say that is why they identify uh, with the Republican Party. Okay, so that's why they identify. To explain sort of how Republicans now hope to capitalize on this. You come to the civics uh, class, and then what? So it's interesting. We observed the class last night. They don't like tell you to be a Republican or talk about what it's like to be a Republican. The, the class is just to prepare you for the test. But they chat during the break. They chat afterwards. And what they're hoping um, is that there's this group of people who have the green card, who are ready to take the test, that that, that group of people could actually make a difference uh, at the polls. And it was very, very interesting talking to them about what's happening at the border because they see other immigrants coming over the border illegally. These are people in these classes who have spent a lot of time and a lot of money. Uh, I mean, think about it. They've had their green card for five years alone. You have to pay all these fees to even get to this point. And they're very, very upset about what they've seen at the border, which is something that struck me the most. I talked to the, um, the director here about that. Listen to what he said. We see what's happening at the border with so many people coming across illegally. It's interesting being in this class with people who are doing it the legal way. These are people with green cards who now want to become citizens. And these people that had done the, the immigration process legally, they don't like other people to come to this country without having to pass what they have passed. These people paid a lot of fees to the immigration system. They have done everything that they needed to. They have filled a lot of forms, and it's not fair. And a lot of them are waiting for something to happen in their processes, and that takes a very long time. Yeah, he was right. They, they really don't like it, the people we talked to last night. Um, you know, these are people who work all day long, jobs here in Miami, and then they come at night to take this class. They feel like they're putting all of this work <laughs> in, um, and they say, frankly, they don't like what's happening at the border. Yeah, and they, 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 they pay taxes as well. We're seeing shifts in Hispanic districts in Texas as well along the same lines. Brian, thank you. Great reporting. We'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider.
And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.